All right, so in this video, we're going to walk through how to edit an individual game's metadata in ESDE. There's a few reasons you might do this. Let's say you wanted to change the title of a game or add a sort name to it. And for the example I'm showing today, adding metadata to a game that does not exist on ScreenScraper or the GamesDB yet. So this is a game called Hime's Quest. Uh, it was released, I believe, in around 2023 for the Game Boy Color. And it's a homebrew game, so it does not yet exist on ScreenScraper or the GamesDB. So if I try to scrape for this, basically I get no data back. But I want to have this game look like the other games in my list. So if I go back to Gargoyle's Quest, you can see it has a screenshot, description, release date, logo. I want to try to get Hime's Quest to display in the same way. So here's how you do it. So essentially you're going to press select on the game. And you'll see this game list menu. Go to edit this game's metadata. And in this menu here is basically where you're going to enter all your metadata. And I've cheated a bit. I've prepared all the text beforehand to make this easy to do. But I'll show you basically how to do each field. So first is the name. I'm just going to add a little apostrophe here. Then I'm going to go to description. For description, I basically prepared this beforehand and I'm just going to copy this text in. Now I could enter it directly on the keyboard. I could use the on-screen keyboard to do it. But like I said, you could also copy and paste. So I'll paste that in and save that. And that works basically on all versions of ESDE. So if you're using this on Android or Linux or Windows, um, it basically works the same way across all. So let me open a release date here. I'm going to say this is 2023. And I believe it came out in September of that year. All right. The developer was an awesome team called Poppyworks. So I'm going to paste that in as well. And then publisher was by Crunchyroll. So I'm going to paste that in. And then genre, I think this would be classified as an action adventure similar to The Legend of Zelda. Of course, I can't spell as I'm typing. <laughs> cool. All right. And then players, I believe, is one player. All right. So that's all the core metadata of the game. There's some additional things down here that you could modify as well. And these all basically will do certain things. So like favorite, completed, kid game, hidden, and broken. Um, these essentially allow you to set these flags on the game so that it can be used for filtering and sorting later on. Um, exclude from game counter basically would remove this game from being counted on the list of games. Um, and then hide metadata fields allows you to basically hide the fields of metadata for this game if you didn't want them to display. In this case, obviously I'm adding metadata so I want them to display. But let's say you were adding a game and you didn't want to add the description and the release date. You could use this to basically turn off the display of that metadata in the theme. Times played will be automatically incremented by ESDE, so you don't need to set it. But if you did want to edit it manually, you can. And then obviously you could set the controller for the game, which will display a nice little button or badge for that controller it's used. And this is also where you would set if you wanted to choose a specific emulator to play this game in. So in this case, I'm going to use this. I want to use the same emulator as I'm using for other Game Boy Color games. But if I wanted to change the emulator for this game alone, I could click an alternative emulator here and select a different one. All right, let me just save this so to show you what we got. So now if I go back here, you'll see I have a description, release date, number of players, but I'm missing probably like the big stuff, right? I'm missing the images. And here's how you do that. So I've prepared these as well. And in your ESDE folder, there's a folder called downloaded media. This is where all scraped media gets stored today, but you could also store your own media here as well. So if I go into downloaded media and then Game Boy, which is the system I'm looking at, you'll see I have all these folders here. Now for Hime's Quest, the thing to really focus on here is the name of the, of the file of this game and make sure that it matches the name of the file of your image. So in this case, let me open up my game metadata again. And you'll see that this game is file name is hemesquest.gb. So as long as my images are named exactly the same with their own extension, 
and everything matches up. So in covers, copy that, go to GB, go to covers, paste it. And then I'm gonna do the same for the rest of these images. So let's do marquees next, which is the logo of the game. And you'll notice the file name is exactly the same as the file name of the game. So let's go to marquees, paste. Let's go to screenshots, copy that, and then paste that in here. And then lastly, we're gonna do title screen, and then we're gonna basically paste that into here. Now with all that done, if I go back here and refresh, now you see my screenshot, my logo automatically. And if I open the media viewer, screenshot, box art, title screen. Sweet, all right. But you'll notice that it didn't see in there because I didn't see the mix image. So mix images are generated during scrape runtime. And because this game wasn't scraped, it didn't generate a mix image. But ESDE has a tool to do that as well. So if I go into scraper, make sure that scrape these systems, the system that you're selecting here is the system you want to scrape for. So in this case, I'm looking to create a mix image for Game Boy. And then go down to mix image settings and then go all the way to the bottom, and there's a menu item here called Offline Generator. Open that and press Start. And what this will do is it'll generate mix images for your games as well as games you've manually added. So let me press Done here and then Back. And if I open up Media Viewer and go all the way to the right, there's my mix image. Now the last thing that's not added here in this part of this video is an actual video for the game but that'll work exactly the same way. You would create a video for your game. You'd make sure to title it the, the file name of the, video, of the game itself. So in this case, it would be Hemius Quest.mp4, and then you'd put it into the videos folder here. And once you're done, then a video will display as well. So that's essentially how you could edit, edit metadata for a given game and also add artwork and metadata to games that don't yet, don't yet exist on scrapers. Hope that was helpful, um, and thanks so much.